With only four days left until the anticipated premiere of the second season of Alchemy of Souls, the production team is relentlessly making sure fans know what's coming. The trailers, images, and posters have helped build suspense for the upcoming season. The good thing is, we can't get enough of them, and we can hardly wait for December 10th. Recently, TVN released the highlights for the upcoming season, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. These highlights throw some light on what to expect from the forthcoming season. Jang Wook's drastic change, Naxa's return, Seo Yul's return to Daeho, Dang Gu's soul shifter hunting, Bu Yun and Cho Yang in one body, and much more. Please stick to the end of this video to get all the highlights. But first, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell to be among the first to see our content, thanks. I hope your popcorn is ready. Many fans were heartbroken and disappointed with how season 1 of Alchemy of Souls ended. Many were in tears and couldn't believe how Ji Mu manipulated Mutiok into killing Jang Wook, her love, and herself. Fans are eager to know what happened after Jang Wook was resurrected from the flames. We all are anxious to see how this incredible drama will end. In the recently released season 2 highlight, we can see scenes from the previous trailers. We can see Jang Wook sitting in a dark room, with Naxu's sword resting on a pillar. Then we see the scene where he draws his sword and fights with a soul shifter. In this scene, fans notice Jang Wook's advanced sword skills and ruthlessness. He is now fearless and skillful. Interestingly, we can now see what looks like the ice stone in Jang Wook's Tansu when he was fighting with the Soul Shifter. This could mean that the ice stone is now the essence of his being. Then we see the image of the lady in the first official teaser, sitting with a petrifying hand. This time, the video shows the side of her face, which is also petrified. Fans were thrown into a frenzy when we first saw her image. Many were divided on whose hand and image it was, whether Naksu or Mutiok. With this recent hint, we can say it is Naksu. This is because the image of Naksu we have seen so far in the trailers matches this profile. You can see that the hair length and color look the same. But then, the Naksu we've seen in the trailers don't have a petrified face or hand. This scene might be when she was newly rescued from the lake. This might also mean that she lived like this for some time before finding a solution for the petrification. Maybe this is why she has the magical bracelet on her wrist in this poster with Jang Wook. Perhaps the bracelet is enchanted to stop and cure the petrification. Then we see images from the previously released episode 1 preview. Where some ghostly looking flying figures were flying around an unbothered Jang Wook, these images looked evil and scary, but Jang Wook seemed unfazed by them for some reason. This raises the question, what are these ghostly figures? Why are they around Jang Wook? And why is Jang Wook unbothered by them? There could be many reasons why they are around the Soul Shifter Hunter. But it has something to do with the Ice Stone in Jang Wook. But we don't know why they are attracted to the Ice Stone in him. I guess we will find out in 4 days. Keep on watching to find out the major highlights. Then we see Go Won in conversation with Jang Wook. The relationship between Jang Wook and Go Won was confusing in the first season. Sometimes they seem like friends, but then we see the crown prince try to kill him in a fight. We don't know what their relationship will be in the upcoming season. This is confusing because we see Master Li advising Go Won to go to Jang Wook's dark place and cheer for him. And it seems like he did in this scene. We can also see him and Jang Wook sitting and Jang Wook pouring him a drink. But this doesn't look like a happy visit between two friends because we can see that Jang Wook is angry and Go Won seems confused. We then see the epic manipulator Jin Mu corrupting Go Won's mind as he has always done. Then we see Go Won in deep thought. From these scenes, 
we can understand a little about what Zhang Wook and Go Wan's relationship might be like in the upcoming season. Remember, in the character description video I had posted earlier, I mentioned that Go Wan was described as the crown prince who learned the secret of Caesarea. He aims to be a generous and benevolent monarch, but after the incident three years ago, he and Zhang Wook are very uncomfortable. He reveals the existence of Zhuang Song, and he hates himself for not being able to dare to fight Jin Mu. From this description, we can tell that the crown prince, now the king, will still be manipulated by Jin Mu in the upcoming season, and he will lack the courage to confront Jin Mu on his madness. This might mean that his relationship with Jang Wook will be almost the same as in the previous season. A love and hate relationship. His inability to see through Jin Mu or confront his evil doings might be why Jang Wook had a sword to his throat in this scene. Then we see Seo Yo, now back after three years, lamenting how he wasn't there for his friend Jang Wook and Dang Gu when they were going through a rough patch. Then we see the scene where he grabs his chest while he remembers the bird collar whistle he had given Naksu and a scene we've not seen where Naksu was with her sword, which is bloody, and blood and water flowing at her feet. Interestingly, we see Seo Yo walk past Naksu at the port when he arrives back at Daeho. Naksu looked like she was searching for someone, she didn't see Seo Yo walk past. But what's confusing is that Seo Yo saw her but still walked past her. He could be confused because he didn't expect to see her alive. But the look on his face as he walked past her showed that he might have done it intentionally. It is confusing as to why he would do that. Because we can see him in the next scene, holding on to her with tears running down his face. Viewers can also see a different Dengu, who now spots dark hair to his lighter one in the previous season. By now, we already know that he will be the new leader of Sungrim in the upcoming season. But we didn't know that he would also be a soul shifter hunter. In this scene, we can see him pursuing a wild soul shifter who interrupts what seems to be a massive celebration in the village. His powers also seem to have significantly improved. Then we see him looking with emotions at his wife, Jean Cho Yun, who has a determined look in return. It seems like they will disagree a lot in the upcoming season. What's sad is Jang Wook asking Park Jean to remove the ice stone from his body that, it is too much to handle. And Park Jean tells him that he will die if he removes it. This scene shines a light on what Jang Wook must be going through and how difficult it must be for him to have the ice stone in him. Interestingly, Jang Wook seems to be searching for a priestess like the First Lady Seo of Jinyuan. The great priestess who master Seo Jiang, the founder of Sun Grim, who stopped the chaos caused by the ice stone in the past, loved. We don't know why he would search for a great priestess just like her. It might be because of the ice stone in him, maybe he is searching for a great priestess who can remove the ice stone. Then we see him meet Cho Yang on different occasions with an unfamiliar and confused look on his face. He met her close to what seemed like the tree in Dan Hyangek. Also, on the bridge, when she was on a boat. This is where Mutiak threw what is considered her love letter to Jang Wook in the previous season. Then we see another scene of Naksu fighting we hadn't seen in the last season. This is mystifying. Will Naksu hold a sword again in the upcoming season? Or are these flashes of remembrance of the past we've not seen before? What's more mystifying is Jang Wook asking why he had the Inyang Jade. Then we see a very upset maidservant Kim, yelling at Jang Wook. Then Park Jean asks him if he wants to get the powers of the sky and throw the world into chaos. And Jang Wook declares that he doesn't care about the world. Whoosh! This upcoming season will be a roller coaster ride with many fights and emotions. Then we see Cho Yang, like in the previous trailer, hold her head as if trying to remember something. This time, we see Jang Wook looking at his jade in what seems like a burial ground in the woods. Then we see him walking with the jade, 
now filled with energy, then we can see him staring at someone. From this scene, we can tell that Cho Yang will be the one to call Jang Wook with the Inyang Jade. This scene could have happened after Cho Yang recalls her past. Jang Wook looks dumbfounded when he sees who lit his jade. This might mean that they will run into each other in the new season, but with no recollection of the past, Jang Wook, not knowing that Cho Yun is Naksu, will pass each other. But will feel some kind of connection with each other. There is a lot to digest from this trailer. We can see someone like Cho Yang standing in the open, with her hands raised to the sky as if she is calling to the sky. It seems like she is performing some sort of ritual. Now, this is interesting and confusing at the same time. If it is Cho Yang calling to the power of the sky, it could mean that she and Bu Yun will be one in the upcoming season. It could suggest that Naksu and Bu Yun will inhabit one body in the upcoming season, just like in the previous one. But in this case, they'll be in Cho Yang's body. If you noticed, we could see what looks like the soul shifter's mark in Cho Yang's eyes in this scene. Just like the one in Mudiok's eyes in the previous season. This could be the reason she is known as a priestess in the new season. Remember, Bu Yun was revived with the ice stone in her mother's womb. So she is of the ice stone. This could mean that just as the ice stone is in Jang Wook, a part will be in Cho Yang because Bu Yun is a part of the Ice Stone. This could be why she could find the Ice Stone in the previous season, even though she's blind. Just like we already suspect, there will be an all-out war in the upcoming season. We can see Seo Yo and Dang Gu fighting men that look like Jin Mu's men, then, we see Jang Wook confronting the king, asking him to stop here. We can also see Park Jean emotionally evolving his energy. And Jean Mu, giving a chilling malevolent laugh. Then we hear Jang Wook saying, this time, it's mine. How excited are you for the new season? What do you hope to see in the upcoming season? Let me know in the comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, bye.